speak your question once. So tell me, what do you think about the video? You watching the videos, the AI tech software. We're going to be diving into everything today, but you already have a great understanding. So what do you think overall now with what you know now with the speak your question one versus before? No, I feel more, comf com uh, more comfortable because when I saw you saying about they don't care very much about what you're saying and and they care about how you saying. So because sometimes I get more stuck because I said, I don't know nothing about this, anything. Wow. I don't know anything about this. So I guess what I'm going to say, so I don't care. I'm going to say 1999, 1995, uh, jump numbers, whatever I'm going to say. I don't care, right. you know, because I said I, I'm very like this. I'm Capricornian. So I'm like, I don't like to lie and I don't like to talk about things that I don't know, you know? Uh -huh. So I said, what I'm going to say, <laughs> you know, but now I'm, this it makes me a little bit more comfortable. So I'm just going to talk, you know? So it's of all course, about relativity. That like, again, you say you're a Capricorn, you don't like to lie. Hey, you could bullshit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but at the same time, I don't want you to recreate a situation or, no, I don't want you to completely think about a new situation because you are more than likely going to start using fillers. So if you just start lying and stuff like that, you're going to start going, um, and um, um, the speaking rate and the sustained speech will come down. However, every question, you will always see the question, and then what's going to end up happening is you are going to, right when you read the question, you're going to remember an event that has happened in the past. That's what I want you to focus on. So let me give you an example right here. Boom. Oh, this is beautiful. Universities should encourage the use of sustainable transportation options such as bicycles, public transport to reduce the carbon footprint. Right now, I am living in this. Now, in regards to students and universities and stuff like that, no, but I could tell you right now, the number one killer in this country is pollution. A famous doctor just last year, who was almost an epidemiologist, 29 years old, just died from stage four lung cancer. The reason for that is because the fucking air in that in the up north is at 500. So it's basically like smoking 30 cigarettes a day. Imagine breathing that garbage in every single day. You see what I mean? And so I'm just going to talk about from what is happening out here in the environment. You see, I'm not going to recreate and lie. I'm just going to say, well, out here in Thailand, pollution is really bad. So I'm going to talk about that for about 20 seconds. And then I'm going to talk about, okay, let's say uh, 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 EV, EV buses on campus. It doesn't matter if it doesn't make sense or this or that. It's all about that sustained speech and speaking rate because you're graded on not what you say, but how you say it. And because your speaking rate and your sustained speech is incredible already, this is what we have to do. And this is what we're trying to build up. Does that make sense? Don't entiendo. this. Entiendo. <laughs> okay. And so if we look at this, it's all about the structure. So first and foremost, in order to establish that sustained, uh, what is it? The sustained speech and everything. You got to have structure. With structure comes your competencies. With competencies means you could be, you could always get those results. It's the four cores of credibility. It's like me when I started building my online business literally five years ago. Four years ago is when everything started like building up because my podcast started bringing in people from around the world. But it had to come with the integrity always knowing that my intent is in the right place and building my competencies. The competencies is showing people what I say and how I say it and what I do during my coaching sessions. And then of course, it's the results. It's the testimonials. It's the scores. It's the TOEFL scores. It's the IELTS scores. That is what my entire, let's say business map and everything about me is. So with you and in terms of your speaking, you have to build those competencies so that you can get those results. Competencies equals results. Competencies equals results. But before the competencies is the confidence. That's the one that we have to build up the most. And with confidence comes back to the structure. 
knowing exactly what you're going to say and how you say it in every layer of your talk. Got it? Mm -hmm. So at the very beginning, I used to tell my students a lot of different things, how to say it, say this, say that, all these different things. And I'm like, listen, don't even bother with that, okay? If you look at this, all you have to say is, I definitely agree. And if you wanna restate the entire question, you can. It's an AI tech software. So if you were to say, I definitely agree that universities should encourage, oh, sorry, I just butchered the encourage. Let me do it again. I definitely agree that universities should encourage the use of sustainable transportation options, such as bicycles and public transport to reduce the campus's carbon footprint. If I want to say, sorry, my wife is yelling. <laughs> I'm sorry. She's she's got her New Year. Uh, it's not a New Year's resolution. She's building up a habit of running and walking 30 to 45 minutes every morning. And this treadmill sucks ass. So, anyways, okay. With that being said, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. So, anyways, with that being said, does that make sense? So it depends how you say it. So here we go. I definitely agree. You can either state some of the words, you could recreate some of the words, et cetera, et cetera, okay? And then you're gonna go into the example. So I can say, I definitely agree that universities should encourage the use of EV vehicles and bicycles on campus because of the amount, oh, here we go, because of the amount of pollution in the, in the, uh, uh, in the, uh, I don't know, in cities. Man. There we go. Perfect. I'll say it again. I definitely agree that universities should encourage EV vehicles and bicycles on campus because of the amount of pollution in the cities right now. Done. That is called your stance, recreating the question however you want to, and then the supporting detail, the supporting detail is pollution in cities. So then right after that, I'm just gonna say for example, and then I'm gonna talk about the problem, the pollution in the cities. I could talk about however I wanna say and whatever I wanna say. And then I'm gonna go back to the EV vehicles and bicycles to top it off. Okay, so I'm just trying to show you structure, remember, I definitely agree, or I definitely prefer, depending on what the question is. You're gonna recreate that question. Now remember, it's all about speaking rate and sustained speech. We don't give a damn how we say it. It's about, I'm sorry, we care only about how we say it, not what we say. I then have my supporting detail because of the amount of pollution in cities. And then I, right after that is the example. So how would it sound? Well, let's check this out. Three, two, one. I definitely agree that universities should encourage the use of EV vehicles and bicycles on campus simply because the amount of pollution that is in cities right now. For example, out here in Bangkok, Thailand, there is a university by the name of Mahidol that suffers from the worst amount of pollution because it's in the western suburbs and there are just too many cars and factories that are pumping out a lot of ultra fine dust particles so what should happen is that in that specific area there should be ev buses that take students from one side of the campus to the other as well as bicycles and providing face masks so that students can protect themselves and this is why i believe by doing this initiative it'll help overall I just bullshitted my way the entire way. <laughs> what did I do? Let's go back to the example, Claudia. Uh -huh. I, I, and the first thing that came to mind was the amount of pollution that 